Hey guys, how's it going? So I decided to make this uh, this little video tutorial to help everyone out who may be stricken with water. You know, quick story, um, my family and I, we never drank tap water because sometimes the stuff coming out of our tap would be uh, off colored or gross or disgusting. I live in Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada, and all the water here is recycled. It's just not good. But now due to uh, COVID-19, um, what happened was us, the family that now buys spring water um, once a month, we don't have anything. You know, COVID-19 hit and everyone and their mom and their grandma and their dog and their cat and their elephants have been buying everything out from the stores. So now that we need to, we, the family that relied on it all the time, need to go and get it, it was gone. So I said to my wife, hey, I'm going to go back to the ways um, that I was a long, long time ago, making my own stuff, making my own water. Um, making my own alcohol, making my own stuff. It's just we need to. So I was trying to figure out how do we get water? You know, the refrigerator has uh, a filter that we never used because we always bought it. And, um, you know, you hold the glass up and a slow stream comes in. And then uh, the house we're in, we're renting right now here in Vegas. And it didn't have a built in water system or anything like that. I mean, water filtration system or anything. And it sucks. And to me, you know, driving to the corner, or standing in line like what people do to refill those five gallon um, buckets and pay sounds ridiculous because they're all paying for water anyway at their house. Like I pay the water company here in Vegas, it's a utility bill. Um, and then to pay someone else to filter water. I mean, yeah, I understand reverse osmosis and blah, 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 blah. And still it's the same pipes, the same recycled water that comes through my pipes that I take a shower in. My family takes a shower in. So why am I going to waste that money? So I decided to um, install an inline filter in our uh, kitchen sink. I'll show you guys how to do that. The filter I bought was like about 33 to 35 bucks at uh, Lowe's. I love to go to Home Depot, but they were across town and Lowe's was right near my house and open and had filters in stock. Everything was sold out. Brita was sold out. Everything was sold out. And I installed it in line. Um, to, to summarize, you're just going to need some fittings. I'll show you the fittings that you need. Um, you know, one quarter to three eighths compression. I use compression fittings and a three eighths to one quarter compression and then another water line, a hose, and that's it. You know, Teflon tape and five minutes of your time. Disconnect the lines, Teflon tape it, connect all the lines, put the compression fittings on, put the filter in, and then just bolt the filter down to the side of the cabinet or let it hang free. Um, I used a hose clamp from AutoZone for like a dollar. You could also get that at Lowe's too um, or Home Depot or whatever. So, and then what I did was the filter I bought is good for five years. And, you know, you Google a lot. They say, hey, filters are bad because um, they may harbor bacteria. Even the water coming out of it may harbor bacteria. But get this. It will process chlorine and a lot of other chemicals. It will um, clean and filter the water. Then the best way to have good drinking water is you boil it. You know, boiling it after you filter out all the thick crap and filter out the chemicals is the best way to kill um, viruses, bacteria, and a lot of stuff. And your water comes out clean, tasteless, you know? And if you don't like the way it tastes, then by all means, add something to it for flavor. Lemon, uh, strawberry, cucumber, whatever you want to add to flavor. it. You could even add salt. Go and buy any water bottle from the corner store, grocery store, wherever. Dasani, Aquafina, whatever, and look at the ingredients. They add shit to their water. You're not getting clean, proper water anyway. So to me, uh, filtering our water and then boiling it. You know, just crank it on high, uh, get a normal pot that goes up to 4.5 or 5 liters. You know, pot, basic pot. Boil it. Two minutes boiling, it's done. Let it sit there covered. After a few hours, it'll cool off. Then you just pour that into uh, um, a clean container. And there you go, you have water you can drink. So that's how we've been surviving. We've been making our own water now. It's been clean, it's been really good. And it's uh, it's us, it's great. So anyway, on to the video. I hope you guys enjoy it, it's real easy. You do this anywhere in the world um, to help you create better, cleaner water for you guys to drink. I'm so I went ahead and bought the Echo Pure filter. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can make something um, to take with you on the road. If you have the it was about 35 bucks. And then the fitting. Now the filter is one quarter, and I use compression fittings. So when you're at Home Depot or Lowe's, one quarter comp, one quarter comp compression. So 
I bought this line. It goes one quarter to here. And then from here, that's a copper that goes from one quarter comp to three eighths comp. That connects to this line. This line goes all the way up into the sink, which is this. And then from here, a one quarter line that you find on your refrigerator, one quarter, runs all the way to here, the main pipe. See that? And the main pipe is 3 eighths. So I put another fitting on here that goes 1 quarter to 3 eighths. So it's real easy. Two fittings. 3 eighths to 1 quarter here. You know, turn the water off, put the thing on, tighten it down, Teflon tape it. Run, run it to the line, to here, to that fitting, 1 quarter even, to here, 1 quarter hose, to here, 1 quarter to 3 eighths. Right? Right into the sink. And that easy. Like that, you have filtered water. So you could do that to filter the water and the crap coming out of the sink. Which helps. You know, like takes out chlorine and a bunch of other stuff. And then what I do is I boil it after that. I measure out a gallon, then I boil it to kill most germs and bacteria and stuff. See right there? Then after it cools off, I go ahead and bottle it. And if you don't like the taste of the water, there's things you can do to flavor it, like add salt or add anything to flavor it. Alright guys. Alright guys, we're going to install this universal water filter in line with the cold line. And she's going to help. So, first thing we do, make sure we turn off the cold water. Right here. Turn it. Turn it off. And we're going to put the towel in here to get the water out. We're going to remove that line. Yeah. See, so I just use my vice grips and uh, turn and remove the line. Water's going to come out, which is fine. Next up, put Teflon tape on the fitting. Then on a Three eighths to one quarter fitting. Put Teflon tape on here. Connect it to the one quarter hose. And then we're gonna screw that fitting right into there. Okay, see, watch. I'm using two pliers. We tighten it down. Hopefully that'll be good. All right, come here. Now, we install this onto here, onto there. 